Hey guys, quick video. I'm in the greenhouse today and I wanted to show you guys. I'm at the July the roughly 11th. I was gonna show y'all just a midsummer comparison of these wicking pots versus the um, Dr. Kratky hydroponics. So what I've noticed is the wicking pots, and I've already, I went up today and dropped my little cable so you can see my tomatoes are kind of at an angle. And that's why I dropped the, um, I dropped the uh, line today just to lower them. I hadn't picked them yet, so I wanted to show y'all before I picked them. This was done overnight by three hornworms, so I've had to be real careful now looking for those each day. So, uh, but what I was going to show you, you know, what I've noticed is this is the Dr. Cracky. This is probably the two biggest tomatoes I've had, and they're really nice size um, on the hydroponic solution. But what I've noticed is the wicking pots, at least as of right now, seem to have grown a little better and actually probably put on a little more tomatoes. Um, but now I've picked some off of each. Uh, they're just starting to turn over the last couple weeks. So um, it's, it's been equal. I will do the same system next year. Um, the biggest problem I've had is I've had to control the heat in this greenhouse. So that's why I think they've been a little behind this year. You know, I was busy getting the greenhouse finished. So next year I've got two shade cloths ordered. I already got one on the back wall that's where the sun sets and then we'll put one on the top about a 50 um, and we'll see if that don't help next year but anyway uh, the okra is doing good just as a side note love the okra and the wicking pots one of my favorite things to do I pick a ton of okra just off two wicking pots each year so um, and the peppers have done good I'm actually going to aerate them next year uh, just with some uh, I may use that grow um, I forget the name of it, but it's like an iron type thing instead of an air stone. But um, these two have done really well. Picked a lot of banana peppers and jalapenos. I actually cut the tops out of those um, when they were only, you know, a couple weeks old just to see. And they've done really well. I have had a little bit of an issue with this um, brown spot at the end of the peppers on some of the bananas. It's kind of been weird. Not all of them. So... I'm going to have to read up on that. But anyway, I just wanted y'all to see the tomatoes before I picked them. They've done really well. Um, and dropping these lines, you know, using these little tomato clips. Um, you know, you can kind of go up there and loosen the spool and kind of drop these to kind of at least keep them workable height and let them keep growing up. Um, that was the problem I had last year in my smaller greenhouse was they hit the top of the greenhouse and just stopped growing. So... Anyway, I wanted to give y'all a comparison. I think the more productive is the wicking pots, but um, overall, you know, I've picked probably about the same tomatoes so far off both of them, but um, that's where we are. Hope this helps somebody.